Welcome to the Margin Business Digital Entrepreneur Podcast. In today's special episode, we got Alfred Jade. Alfred is not only an entrepreneur, he's a multi award winning property investor and developer. So, Alfred will tell us a lot about his mindset and his way to success. Yeah, no, thanks for having me, Omar. Really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm a property investor based in the UK. I mainly invest in the Midlands. And yeah, funny enough, you ask, how did I get there? It all came about, I guess, me wanting more out of life. Um, so my background, I'm an engineer. I did aerospace engineering. Have okay. Master's degree, I have a master's degree in that. Um, it's the second that, person. It's the second person, actually. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, really? You as an aerospace <laughs> engineer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a trend. There's a trend. All aerospace engineers... We've got, we've got, there's more out of life that we can get if you really yes, want yes, it. Yes, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, Sorry. So, yeah, so coming out that, I secured a project management role at Jaguar Land Rover. So I was managing a lot of engineers. So I took a managerial position in the engineering field. Um, it was great, like great fun. I was, I was in cars all the time. Like it was, it was a great experience, great, great company to work for. But I think I got to a point where for some strange reason, I've never worked out during my, like, I think I was 22 at the time, 23. I'd never worked out what's my earning potential in that role. Like what's the highest I can go to earn in this role. And only like upon researching that, I was working like, okay, cool. It means I've probably got five, 10 years to kind of hit the six figures plus mark. I'm like, this is way too slow. Wait, it's going to take me way too long. I'm not willing to play this game. So I looked at exploring options, which at, during my university days, I always talked about property being a retirement vehicle and something that I would kind of acquire a couple every other year or whatever during my during my career so then I kind of got immersed in that world and found out it's a business we can have people great create massive portfolios from it create income from that portfolio and go on to do bigger things so I was like yeah I need to get I need to get into this space so that's where I guess my direction or, or move um, or how I go into property started and okay. from there I invested very heavily at the beginning I invested about 25 grand into my like mentorship, my education. So I was big on paying to get in the room, the right rooms, paying to acquire information, just to fast track things. For me, I wanted to be able to just acquire information, compress time, not trying to work it all out by myself. Of course, I can do that. That's a, a way to do it. But for me, that was a slower way. So there's a faster way. It's what's the way? How does it work? Has it been done before? Who's done it? Um, can I see that? Can I, can I believe what I'm seeing? Um, and if I can, I'm, I'm all in 100 miles per hour. Let's go get it. So that was my kind of, I guess, my first inception into kind of property investment. And it's okay. worked well. Like I've gone on to now win awards, um, won two awards in the property space, well-recognized companies. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm doing great things. And I guess an element of property investment, everybody talks about a lot of capital is required to get into those deals. And very early on, again, through these educational um, platforms and stuff, I learn about being able to creatively leverage money, whether it's through people, whether it's through uh, banks, whether it's through credit cards, any means basically to be able to leverage capital, to be able to raise that and then go and do the things you need and everyone else gets the benefit as well. That was the kind of the win-win relationship I, I built. And now again, my social media presence, I've been able to kind of raise funds through my social media. Okay. So a lot, a lot has happened, but it hasn't been a, a quick process per se. Sure. Um, it, but it's, you know I mean, I've, I've worked on it and I've kept worked on my personal development and kept going and moving forward. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, the explanation is really good. And it's exactly what I'm always saying. You know, nothing, nothing comes from, you know, from like it, it, there's always an evolution, you know. So uh, people always see the end result, but they don't know how much work is actually in there for, for the years before. So uh, I think and as well, um, because because of your position, what you had before, um, the aerospace uh, in, uh, technical engineer, right? Engineer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you you hit you hit kind of a, a stop at some moment because uh, obviously either either you have a team under you or you go you go uh, you open your own company and then uh, employ plenty of other uh, technicians if you have the right contacts. Obviously, in the aerospace industry, which is quite hard, I would say. At some uh, at some level to to go uh, as a contractor or something, um, yeah. then obviously you need to search for something else. I mean, it's uh, it's an amazing it's an amazing job. You you I cannot say uh, how much 
um, you help actually uh, people because you know nobody really looking at the. Um, I guess you were working on the on the turbines, the the uh, of the plane or. I did that back in like the university days, but coming okay. out of that, I worked at Jaguar Land Rover, so I kind of got okay. into the okay. automotive space. So okay. I was working on cars. We developed the engines. Wow. For the vehicles, the four cylinder engines. Uh, that was my first program. That was a two hundred million um, development program. So we kind of went through the whole cycle: design, develop, manufacture, and went live in, um, with the engine on these vehicles. So that wow. was kind of my first exposure to kind of real life engineering, kind of going through the whole cycle and delivering on, on the on the product okay that's i mean that's that's amazing you know jaguar uh i guess the v8 motor or something uh, similar right yeah 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 yeah. so yeah it's uh it's really good so like i said afterwards when you when you go all through these stages and you have learned enough you know most m- most of when you're still very young you say uh, what's coming out you know something something needs to happen so the the best way what you did is uh, just to invest and you know, move on from that, you know, and uh, what I'm always trying to um, emphasize as well on the channel is to um, let people know that actually there is there is steps, they don't have to redo the steps themselves, they just have to watch, for example, us talking, or you better you watch your experience, you know, and they can just, they can just go the same way, you know, they don't have to reinvent the wheel or something, they just have to follow steps, you know, and uh, it's, it's, it's not, Nobody said it's easy, you know, but yeah. there is there's people who have done it before, you know, and, and that's why we're here in order to present this, that it's that is feasible, you know, that it's possible. Yeah. And um, for, for the audience listening, definitely I can attest to that. Like, guys, you don't have to re- reinvent the wall. Like I, I, what I've done, what I've achieved, I've just replicated what worked. I found somebody that has done it, has proven it, a model, and I just literally replicate. So a lot of fact finding in the beginning to kind of understand what that process is but once you find it you keep like replicating like the, my model my the way i acquire properties the way i raise finance is all repetition you understand it you obviously and over time as well repetition guess what practice makes perfect you know we're not going to be best at the beginning my, my first deal was my worst deal <laughs> every, oh, every interesting. deal but my, <laughs> you know I mean? every deal gets better because I'm, I'm refining process i'm getting more efficient i'm i'm compressing time so just just to get started get immersed in the world and honestly do not try and you have you I guess you have your little twist and how you want to add your own little um feature or whatever style to, to what it is you're doing but just try and stay as much as possible to what's worked and just do that honestly you can't can't go wrong I think I think this is a very very good advice um when we look at your uh, afterwards when you begin to invest you know and you um obviously at, at some level that you can can say you have few properties um how did you how did you move on from there in order to now say okay maybe uh the property world uh the physical property world is now taken care of or i can still grow but i need to do something else in order to reach even more people uh maybe i can can do a bit more with a uh with a digital product for example you know yeah so i think it came through me building a brand so my mentors were telling me, Alfred, to get yourself out of the hood to know who you are, to be able to attract finance, you have to just kind of document your journey. So very early on, I was documenting, like, I, I want to document my whole life. Like, I'm big on, I document, I've got a video graphic that follows me everywhere I go, events, when I speak, whatever I do, if I'm doing a tour, um, whatever, um, I document. So very early on, it starts with me, like, behind the camera, very shy, I don't want to be on the camera, talking around the properties and stuff, what I'm doing, my struggles, what's going great. Um, then obviously me getting in front of the camera with my iPhone still. Then now can I get production, get get a graph of following me around and get it more professional. I documented a lot of that on my YouTube channel. So a lot of my journey, all my properties that I've done, like from start to finish, I document like the progress of, of the works as well. Amazing. So that helped build a brand, a, a, a presence, an authority in the marketplace. And guess what? People start asking, how's this guy doing this? What's he doing? Like, who's he working with? How does he making this happen? So all these questions start to kind of flood through my mess, like DMs, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's um, Instagram. And that kind of, I guess, one day I was on, I was on Instagram Live and the inception came up of, I was getting loads of questions and like the guy who was interviewing me was like, have you got like a mastermind group? Like, and I was like, no, I don't. And we did, literally did a survey on the call, like guys, if I was to create a mastermind group, how many of you would join right now? 
And like 10 people said, yeah, they'll, they'll do it. And I was like, this, this is this is insane. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna, out of nowhere, I just put on, I put on, went back on my story and said, guys, I'm thinking of making a, a proxy mastermind group. Is this of interest? Yes or no? And got a poll. So I kind of just put the idea out there. People said, yep. Yeah. Created it like a week later. Didn't really think much. I just kind of went with it. I just said, okay, cool. I need Zoom access. I can get Zoom calls to like $20, 20 a month. Yeah. I can do that. That's not, that's low cost. Um, set a time, hour long every Tuesday at 8 p.m. And then put it out there and just, and people, st- I've got a link, I've got a click funnel page, put a link out there, people start buying. I was like, this is, this is insane. <laughs> so then obviously from that, I've kind of grown it. Um, we've now got like a portal where all sessions are recorded, stored on there. So you can kind of watch the guest speakers have come and presented. Uh, all the masterclasses we've done and stuff is all there for you guys to kind of learn from. So that database alone, we've done about 120 sessions now. Um, hours and hours of content, like some, some sessions alone are like thousands of pounds um, like of, of knowledge being shared. So game changer, uh, I've now grown on um, to kind of, I guess as well, off the back of that, I had a lot of people kind of asking for mentorships and I, I shied away from it for a good two years. I was like, no, I'm so focused on what I want to do. I want to build a portfolio, build my income. I, like I'm too busy to kind of focus on, on having a one-to-one relationship with individuals. Um, a lot of people want to know how I raise finance. That's one of the biggest things. Like people, I've raised just under two, two million um, in the last two years. Okay. I'm trying to raise two million alone within this year. So I'm trying to get compressed time. So people admire that and want to kind of be around me and learn from me. Sure. So only recently I, I went to um, Grant Cardin. I don't know if you know who Grant Cardin is in America. He's a big entrepreneur, businessman. And I was like a mastermind. Again, this is a high ticket, 25 grand. Um, two-day mastermind with his, him and his inner circle team and I raised a question so look I've had this fear of wanting to I'm not fear per se but I've always thought I want to focus on the the the, the, the practical stuff the stuff that's helped me grow versus doing the the service stuff which is offering mentorship to people it's like look yeah I don't particularly like mentorship but everyone has, everyone has a price like like I, I'll do it for this price like and so just put a price against it like pick up a bag like you just said pick up a bag don't dismiss uh, and earning potential this is earned income like why would you say no to that um it's not going to take too much of your time if you if you do it right as well um but just get the process in place and put it out there people are willing to pay for your time so why not do you know what i mean um so i came back and and, and again another insane <laughs> insane experience i did a survey thing again guys um finally looking at open a mentorship program for people that i wanted to work with me on, on a one-to-one basis did a survey, had like 70 responses, loads of book calls in. And so now I've got clients who are I'm now mentoring for the next six months. Okay. Um, and see how it goes. And then we might we might do it again, might not, I don't know. I kind of I think mean, people kind of have the feel he might never do this again. So it's because yes, I understand it last time. I, I've, yeah. been, I've been I've been so adamant this is not for me. I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm focused on this. And now coming out, I think for like, oh, let's grab it before it goes. Uh, so I think it's timing as well. Um the more, I guess, you can kind of create a fear of missing out, I guess, attracts more people. Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, value as well. The value you bring to the table will obviously attract people. So all those elements have allowed me to kind of now create these online products and these offerings um, for people in my network, okay. my offers that I build over time. And you still you still have time for your property deals, right? Of course. That's that's my biggest focus. <laughs> Everybody knows Alfred is very focused on, on, on doing... They're doing which is for me acquiring properties raising finance so i'm very active on my social people see me raise finance all the time and uh, people see me acquire deals all the time so i'm very that's my my focus i'm now i guess for my my actually was probably my, my biggest strength is staying focused on one thing like i always okay. say there's so many ways of doing well in life creating revenue whatever um pick that one thing and just block everything else out because if you try and say oh this I can make money in real estate. I can make money on online businesses, um, e-commerce sites, Amazon, FBA, like there's this Bitcoin, whatever, crypto. It's too much. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Definitely. so many ways. Like, and I've got friends in every single industry who are doing it, who are killing it. But I'm not now thinking, oh, let me do a bit of Bitcoin or buy the Bitcoin or bit, do a bit of crypto or then do a bit of stocks and shares. But I'm like, no, I want to just focus on real estate, build that income up. Guess what? When you get to a level where there's income and overflowing, you don't know what to do with it. You can decide to start experimenting because yeah. you have that security now. You're not like even if even if you lost the money, it doesn't matter because next month, guess what? There's income dropping in that account. So it's Definitely. all timing. Um, just trust in the process, follow the process, 
stick to it, stay focused, and I promise you, you'll, you'll get there. Uh, definitely, I can, I can agree with that. The, the process is very important. And what is important as well, as you said, is to focus on one thing. This is what we do as well at Margin Business. We focus on one thing. We don't focus on the whole Amazon because as you said, you know, it's, it's way too much. It's, uh, you know, every day there's coming new news. So we are really on one thing, focusing on one thing. Once we think this thing is 100% done or we master it like 100% and we can, you know, move on and do uh, something else within this space, you know, but for now, I still feel there is so many things to do, like in one gap only. So as long as it's like that, I, I don't go anywhere, you know, and this is, this is as well something super important because you can as well invest in yourself at the same point, you know, like you did. Um, there is plenty, plenty people uh, I got this from um, who invest a lot of money. I mean, myself, I invested in myself as well in, in education, you know, in, uh, good, good. Um, and all the things that uh, related, obviously, to uh, uh, what we're doing, uh, business setup, uh, Amazon, uh, all, all of these, uh, all of these things, um, um, some mentorship, you know, it's, it's super important. And what you did, maybe some people would say, wow, 25 grand is a lot. Uh, I don't think so. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's literally the price you need to pay, as you say, to be around like-minded people, to... Um, um, to, uh, to go somewhere to somebody who has the knowledge actually who can give something back to you because what, what, what people think or what the question is, maybe some small minded question is when you go to the US, uh, you, you're from the UK, you go to US, you ask about property market, has nothing to do one with the other, you know, but the question is bigger here, you know, the question is he, as you said, he will put a price tag on on your uh, on your services actually it says maybe it goes beyond properties you know uh, properties is just the the means actually uh, afterwards you know uh, if we go into property law obviously between the us and, and the uk it's uh, there is a whole different thing and as well the the whole economical uh, aspects of it but yeah. if we if we look at this what what you mentioned it's definitely be worth it and uh, i will uh, you know i always say that really invest in yourself uh, go for it and yeah it's uh, it's amazing like that, and you progress as well uh, yourself. Yeah, I can, I can I guess I can talk for myself in a sense. Every time I've invested in myself, I've made ten times more. Like like Definitely. like the money that the, for me it's like the I guess for me the way I sell myself on it is if I spend this money, can I make the money back? And if I exactly. can, like I don't care. I'm, I'm going all in. It could be it could be hundred. It could be a million pounds. If I have access to that money and I know that I'm going to invest into this product or this service or this whatever this coaching to take me to the next level it's a no-brainer like that money is, is so like it's, it's, it's nothing it's, it's honestly it's nothing um in that room alone i've there was more time billionaires billionaires grants billionaire like i have a contact of 30 business owners who are all doing more time like, i learned so much again coming back to the principle of you don't have to reinvent the wall there was people in the room that were doing 20 million 40 million and just businesses that you won't even think like so guy the guy doing construction business got 20 million a, yeah. a 19 year old got a landscape business doing 15 million there's a guy trading cotton doing 40 million there's a, there's a guy who's who's doing a car wash a car wash model trying to franchise it across the across the whole of the us 100 million so this again this these aren't unique ideas like they're, they're just when you think about it this is what society needs and and therefore that's why they're, they're collecting checks they're just thinking big and expanding and, and, and getting in the right rooms again, learning from the right people of how they can scale their business and get to the next level. So for me, it's like, if, if, you, if you find that right room, the price is relevant, honestly, because what you're going to learn, the impact, the drive that these people have, you see for yourself, you're like, they're no different. They're actually no different to you. As long as you've got that ambition and, and a growth in your mind and you're seeking it, you're going through those rooms and, and, and want to, and again, you're not going to be in the room and have that, little mindset of oh why is this guy bragging about how much his business is making you're gonna like how, do, how are you doing that like what teach you please like this is a a growth mindset someone who's got a growth mindset will, will be approaching them during the break so look amazing that you're doing this how have you got there like what, how did it start like what made you like what, what even got you in that sector in the first place like this this is a growth mindset person and that's who you want to be and and and, and attract people who are in the same mindset as well like wanting to help see the energy in you and, and therefore just want to share information like they want to see you grow because guess what? If, if they see you grow, yeah, then yeah. it's like it's, 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 a, it's a great feeling. Like when you help somebody and they come back to you and say, look, 
thanks for the advice. It was amazing. I'm now doing this. I'm like, really? Like, you, I get blown away all the time. Now. I, I give a lot of advice and stuff out. And they come back and say, Alfred, I really appreciate your time and the time you spent with me. Like, it's been crazy. I've, I've now gone into raise 200 grand. I'm now on my way. I've bought two properties. Do you know what I mean? So all these things are like, is, the money is one thing, but it's getting that, that feedback is second to none. Like, for me, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, when you help people, then, uh, you know, something and something else will definitely happen. And it's the same with the product or with the service. If you help somebody, then actually you, you, you make the money that's, uh, the, the, you know, out of a hobby or out of, a, out of your passion. You know, you help somebody, you find something that helps somebody. That's definitely that, you, uh, that you're going to make money afterwards. I mean, you're really a motivated person. And I really like the vibes of it. It's to talking to you. Everything is it's, it's really nice. So where do you... Um, where you want to go? What is your, what did you, what, what did you plan for the next five to 10 years? I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get to the bill mark. I, I, I need to see that billion. Um, and obviously it might be like, what's the word? Um, not, not arrogant, but like, I, I, just, I, I think I've always aspired. I think for my, my family, like my, the way I come from, I've seen all ends of the spectrum. I've seen, I've seen real property, like not even having, so my background, I'm Ghanaian. My parents are originally from Ghana. Um, okay. so I, I've been in Ghana, I've seen like rural poverty, like not even knowing how, how you're going to eat tonight, like just, just wandering around, not knowing like what's happening next, seeing the middle class, seeing the ultra wealthy. And I'm like, I've seen it all. Like all those lives are hard. I promise you, there's no, no life. Oh, yes. easy. All, all of them are hard. So why I'm picking, the, I'm, I'm picking what's, what's the best out of all of them. And for me, that's, that's being ultra wealthy. Because guess what? People kind of see our oh, wealth as um, a monetary value, but like, what they forget is how much lives, millions of people's lives you impact. If you're, if you're a billionaire, there's no, you don't become a billionaire by accident. You become a billionaire because you've impacted and helped millions of people on this planet. And that's what better way to kind of leave a legacy to kind of say I've impacted this many people on this, on this planet. Um, so for me, it's like, yeah, I want to grow. I want to surround myself with people who are doing bigger things, have big think. Um, I want to be global. I want to get myself around the world. Like I love traveling. Again, if you haven't traveled, obviously traveling isn't a cheap thing to do, but if you can acquire some money and be able to travel the world again, having exposure to other countries, experiencing other people's cultures, that Definitely. opens your mind. Definitely. Um, so all these things are kind of, I guess, I've, 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 I've been, I've trust me, I've traveled a lot, and this is kind of opened my mind to what's possible, what's what's in other countries versus what's in another country, and kind of comparing the two. Um, so for me, I'm kind of at the moment. I've got the real estate business. Um, we're still growing that. I'm now looking at acquiring a business. So I'm kind of wanting to buy a business and build it up okay. and potentially exit. So this will be a buy, build and sell model. Um, and right now, the, the first industry we're looking at is transport logistic companies in the UK. Okay. So we're in conversation with a few business owners looking at exiting for retirement purposes and looking to take over those businesses. Again, these are profitable businesses doing about five million pounds in revenue plus. And the idea is to kind of grow these businesses um, so maybe like 50 million and then look to acquire the bolt-on, the cool bolt-on onto the, onto the platform business and then look for an exit. Um, so I'm starting with transport logistics. I'm sure I'll, I'll probably have other businesses in other sectors like marketing. I'm a big fan yeah. of marketing because marketing is, is a, like marketing. It's amazing, alone, yeah. It's the market share. It's, it's, it's wherever you want to make it. Yes. Um, everyone on this planet needs to market. You do oh, some yes. sort of selling. You, you, everyone needs to market. So... Uh, marketing has a huge potential is how big the, the owner of the business wants to grow this business because there's so many avenues um, in, in marketing space. So it's something that I'm very potential will, will get in the future. Um, but yeah, I don't know what a, how exactly I'm going to get there. I just know I want it and I know I'll find a way and I'm going to keep, keep making the progress each day and I'll get there. That's, that's all I know. That's all I can say. <laughs> that's amazing. You have the goal already. So the, the way will, the way will open up. I'm, I'm quite sure about that. You know, it's uh it's you know it's it's something which which is already which most probably is already written you know or everything is already written and you just have to you know follow uh, follow what works actually you know and uh, do a little bit of uh, tweaks here and there and then uh, uh, everything will uh, will go in this way um one last question i have for you just uh, just a, a message to the world um w what you would give to advice or a message you know a general message i mean you gave us already a lot i uh, appreciate that a really uh, uh much but just one general thing what you what you would um, say there's, there's, a, there's a lot i think there's one thing that like i think 
Pro probably, I think I'm trying to think how did I start to make, like have a different mindset. And I think it's surrounding myself with people doing better than me. Um, so you might not be in the place you want to be. That's fine. That, that, that's, that's standard. Everyone, everyone, everyone gets born into a place and they've got to work out how they get out of that place. They're not happy that place for every reason. So a step for me was getting myself into new rooms, rooms that I, I, I don't even like, I'm even thinking to myself, how am I in this room in the first place? Like, do you know what I mean? So you want to get yourself into spaces that you're probably uncomfortable. It, 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 it will feel uncomfortable. If it's big enough and it's you're of, of a different level to you, different caliber and everything, you're like, am I even, why am I, when I do you know, even question yourself, like, should I be in this room? This room is, is, is insane. Um, so surrounding yourself with people that are doing better than you and will elevate your think, will elevate what you perceive to be possible um, as well. Because again, people that are doing better than me generally have a different mindset on a different space and their way of think is, is way bigger and, and they they have less limiting beliefs. Everyone, everyone has limiting beliefs, but the, the bigger you are, the bigger, do you know I mean? the, the, the better you are, the less of a limiting, limiting belief you have in yourself. And a lot of people, I think what stops them is that limiting belief of what they think is possible. Um, so once you start surrounding yourself with people that's done it, been there, done that, you're like, I can see this person, I can relate to this person. Do you know what I mean, having a conversation with someone that's been there and done that, you're not thinking, okay, this is now possible. Like I can, I can go do this as well because it's relatable. So yeah, um, surround yourself with people doing more than you, um, and, and that's a, that's a great way to get yourself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's, I think it's a great advice. And where where can anybody? I mean, okay, Alfred, you're selling property in the Midlands, if I understand correctly, in the yeah, United I'm, I'm Kingdom. Buy, I'm buying and acquiring for rental income. Okay. So if anybody, if anybody is interested, where can they get in contact with you? Um, I will put the website here just under the uh, screen it down here. And yeah, uh, LinkedIn or anything where they can directly uh, speak to you because it's a pleasure to speak with you actually. And I emphasize anybody who is interested in property or want to learn, get in contact with, uh, with Alfred. Yeah, so they can find me on, on socials. I'm pretty on Google. Just type my name, Alfred Jade. So spelled D-Z-A-D-E-Y. Oh, I'm going to put a Z down here as well. Thank you. And as well in, the, in YouTube. Uh, but yeah, so I'm on all socials. Just type my name in Google. You can find out all my socials through Google um, or Instagram. Instagram is where I'm predominantly at. Um, but I'm kind of spreading myself across all that platform. So TikTok, um, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. I've got... I'm, I'm everywhere. I'm trying to be everywhere. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's uh, that's that's perfect. Yeah. Get in contact with Alfred. Really, it's uh, it's amazing. Well, and well. uh, so, so, so real real property ventures is my property business uh, company. Um, okay. I mean, that's uh, that's already really good. I mean, wow. That's a lot of information. A lot of motivation. And I'm um, I'm really happy that you uh, that you could speak with me today. It's uh, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much, uh, Alfred. And uh, I think we need to talk again in. Uh, maybe a few months even, you know, to see, uh, to see the progress, you know, but uh, because I'm sure your, your progress is now getting faster and faster, you know? That's the plan. That is the plan. We can make Perfect. That Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you too.